Let us look at all these pratyahar or control of the senses that can be done by focusing on uniform impressions, by creating positive impressions and by creating inner impressions. This is beautifully explained by David Frawley. He explains that many time because of the uncontrolled uh, food intake that uncontrolled can be in the form, can be in the can be because of the poor timings. Because of this uncontrolled, unregulated food intake, we, suf we suffer indigestion. When we suffer indigestion, what is generally recommended? We are asked to control our food intake or take that food which is uniform. So, we take khichdi in all parts of India at least we are aware that when our digestion is not good we are recommended some or other form of khichdi which is generally the combination of pulse and rice. Uh, nonetheless, in the situation of indigestion we are asked not to take variety of food, but consistently one type of food only limited to certain fruits or certain form of grains in uh, prepared in a specific way which is devoid of oil, which is which has less of uh, spices etcetera. In the same way, our man, our uh, mind also sometimes feel indigestion, indigestion because of over exposure to the senses, over indulgence in the senses, over uh, uh, being because of this mental indigestion, we can feel unhealthy within ourselves. So, if I have to get rid of this mental indigestion, what is the way? Pratyahar is the way. How it is done? By focusing uniform impressions, meaning we do not let our mind wander in 10 different directions. We can focus on one thing, we can focus on pre we can focus on flowing water, clear water, we can focus on sky, we can focus on akash, we can focus on our breath, we can focus on our senses and by focusing on uniform impressions, our mental indigestions comes under control and as a result of that, our agitated mind becomes calmer and only calm mind can perceive with clarity and make right decisions, right which is right for not only for ourselves, but good for others as well. That is about focusing uniform impression. Then comes the next stage in the Indriya Pratyahar is creating positive impressions. Positive impressions can be uh, attained through many practices. You must have seen prayers in uh, various religious places or spiritual places. That is a way of creating positive impressions. If you look at prayers, they all talk about well-being for us, well-being for others. They all are about submitting to uh, some supreme power which is embodiment of all good qualities. Prayers are also about asking to imbibe the best qualities, best humanly qualities. So, these are the ways of creating positive impressions. We uh, have also seen Kirtan or Shabad, these are the methods of creating positive impressions, because either we are remembering the great divine qualities of the supreme or we are asking supreme to uh, give those qualities, the quality of compassion, courage, wisdom, uh, self-control, doing good for others, altruism, we ask for those qualities. So, in this way, we are creating consistent positive impressions. That is the second aspect of Pratyahar. The third aspect of Pratyahar is creating inner impressions, 
just by focusing on our sensations. You can do it and experience it right away. If you are watching this video, just start noticing and take your attention to your toes. Wherever you are sitting, just bring your attention to your toes. You must have noticed that your sitting posture must have become better. Now, take your attention from your toes to your ankle. You can start this process with the right leg. You take your attention to the toes of the right leg. Now, take your attention to the right ankle, right calf muscles, right knee, right thigh. Then you can take your attention to the left toes, left ankle, left calf muscles, left knee, left thigh. Take your attention to the stomach. Notice the movements going on in the stomach with breathing. Then you can take your attention to your chest and if you wish to, you can close your eyes as well. From the chest, you can take your attention to the right shoulder, relax your shoulder, left shoulder, relax the left shoulder, neck, face, top of the skull. Notice your breath. Now, you can choose any sensation in the body from toe to head and be with that sensation. Even this simple practice would have brought some level of calmness within us. This is an example of creating inner impressions. This is one way of doing Indriya Pratyahar. There is a vast field of knowledge and practice called Vipassana. Vipassana beautifully uses this practice. Vipassana incorporates Pratyahar into it. it of course, it is more than Pratyahar, it is Sammagyan, it can be samyak samadhi, it can lead to samyak samadhi, but vipassana very beautifully starts and take into account of the process which we study in pratyahar, because it starts with focusing our attention to one or few sensations in the body. So, this is the indriya pratyahar, very famous mudra or practice for uh, Indriya Pratyahar is Yoni Mudra. In the Yoni Mudra, we make the hand posture as ex, as mentioned in the as shown in the uh, picture. Hence, the index finger on the eyelashes, close our eyelashes, we put thumb on the ear openings, we close it with the uh, sufficient pressure. We also put other fingers on our nose and the right below the nostrils. We focus on our breath and we continue to be in this posture and count the breath to 21 times minimum. That is a quick method of performing Indriya Pratyahar. Then there is a Prana Pratyahar, control of Prana, uh, control of vital energy. This is preparation for the Pratyahar, in fact. The Prana is gathered by taking our attention from the toe to head and then centering our attention on uh, maybe uh, in the stomach or between the eyebrows. In this way, we can perform a prana pratyahar or control of prana. Karma pratyahar is about control of action. This involves karma yoga. Karma yoga is deeply connected with our action, with our work, with our career and with our career choices. 
in nutshell karma pratyahar is doing action necessary to life and avoiding those based on desire and self gratification that means lo looking the action or decision whether it is arising from my desire my lalasa or because of the sense of duty and for the well being of all swadharma and lokasangra we will be discussing these terms uh, in the upcoming sessions but karma pratyahar is about controlling action and directing it towards the dharma and dharma is not religion dharma is uh, sustainability dharma is uh, harmony within and without whether my action is arising from that and leading from that or it is arising from my desire self gratification and leading to desire and self gratification that is the uh, control of action mano pratyahar is withdrawal of mind from senses yoni mudra can be helpful in mano pratyahar as well because when we perform yoni mudra we are not only controlling our indriyas by focusing our breath and focusing on the movements in the stomach we are also performing mano pratyahar withdrawal of mind from senses mind is the rein through which the uh, horses of the senses are controlled rein is held by the mind rein is held by the intellect or buddhi rein itself is man so indriyas or senses follow man it is also compared with the honey bee queen honey bee and the worker honey bee queen honey bee is like man wherever queen honey bee sits or goes that's where all the worker honey bees go and make their nest there in the same way wherever our man our mind goes our senses follow that that's why you must have noticed that many a time your senses are here but you are not able to see what is going on here because your man or mind is somewhere else that establishes that indriyas follow man mano pratyahar is done with the help of breath with the help of attention that's why even in the in performing asanas we do little bit of pratyahar but there are some more intense practices of the pratyahar we are going to look at in the upcoming slides